From NBC5, this is the NBC5 News at 10. What's Drew going to do? Tonight, Drew Peterson's lawyers mull over a decision that could affect the outcome of his murder trial. Tomorrow morning, they must tell the judge in the case whether they want him to declare a mistrial after prosecutors make a controversial move. NBC5's Marion Brooks joins us now with the story and the stakes. Marion? Well, Allison, the stakes are certainly high. If the mistrial is granted with prejudice, Drew Peterson could walk. Drew Peterson's attorney, Joe Lopez, tonight. Uh, tomorrow I'm expecting um, a surprise because I'm not really sure what's going to happen. Peterson's attorneys have requested a mistrial because of a prosecution question to witness Thomas Pontarelli. Prosecutors asked Pontarelli, a friend and neighbor of Kathleen Savio's, about feeling intimidated by Peterson. When Pontarelli mentioned finding a bullet in his driveway, the courtroom erupted. The defense objected and later asked for a mistrial. You got two serious motions for a mistrial in two days. That's got to be a world record. Judge Edward Bermilla dressed down the prosecution, calling the move low because the bullet information was not to be allowed. He said he'd consider the mistrial ruling first after lunch and then sent the jury home. He asked the defense to reconsider Consider the motion in favor of striking Pontarelli's testimony. That's the issue the defense will mull tonight. And this is kind of a novel position for everybody to be in. We're going to go home now, do some more research, and get ready for tomorrow. Will County State's Attorney James Glasgow sounded sure there would be no mistrial. We're confident that the trial will resume tomorrow morning. We have a full complement of witnesses to fill the day. Former prosecutor and current defense attorney Thomas Glasgow, no relation, says courts don't typically like granting mistrials, and granting one with prejudice almost never happens. I see him probably standing by the rule of striking the testimony and going on with the trial. The mistrial, I feel, is highly unlikely in this situation. Now again, the judge could grant a mistrial without prejudice, which would mean the trial process would start over. With prejudice could mean Drew Peterson could not be tried again, or the judge may simply strike the witness. He's expected to rule tomorrow morning. Allison? Marion, thank you.